Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Ease Memories of Soseta. In the last episode, we started climbing this tower in our attempt to go meet with the freaking Godman angel dude. El Deal, I think his name was, or something like that. Uh, we picked up this little girl party member on the way in because we needed her to help us get in here, but also because she wants to go with us to t check on this guy. Some fishy about him. My, uh, ultimate, uh, um, uh, speculation is that he's not going to be a good guy. Is that really so hard to fucking comprehend at this point? Probably not. Also, uh-oh. Cutscene? Right off the bat? Oh, snap. Mid-boss. Wow, I really didn't do this right at the end of last stream. Nice timing, Funky. Nice timing. Let's do it. Kicking it off with a boss fight. Krelamisia, The Guardian of the Storms. Alright, fuck him up! Is he gonna be all floaty? Cause I oh he's got he's got he's got beacons or whatever. Oh, that looks like it hurts. Dang, I got my ass handed me, dude. This is um very painful. Taking some big boy damage, and I don't like it. Oh my god, I am getting wrecked. Rickety, rickety wrecked. Alright. Oops, I didn't even mean to switch. That was my fat fingers hitting buttons. Yeah, there you go. Whack that shit, girl. Whack it! Like it real good. Oops. Ooh, we got him. I don't know. Oh, oh, that. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, one down. Watch out, he's doing a thing. Okay, I'm, I'm out of the blues. Oh shit! No, she died. All right, maybe I should be more careful. It's okay, I got a bunch of these Rota droplets. I haven't even used one yet. Someone did mention that the game is going to get harder last stream. They did. They did. X Gamer flat out said the game is this point in the game where it gets harder. I'm not complaining. I'm certainly not complaining. I'm just pointing out that get my ass kicked. Shooky. Just got to keep shaking and baking. Get out of here, broski. Poroshnikov. Alright, that one's down. I gotta pay more attention to the dude in the middle. I'm having too much too much focus on the on the um on the uh you know the main the, this little this little thingy thing. Alright, uh let's bust it out. Is that one item really uh Catholicon? Yeah, it's called the Catholicon. Here's all stats elements, so it's like a remedy from Final Fantasy. Oh shit, I just used a bitter potion. Oh well. I mean, not that that was a bad thing, he healed me all the way. Come on, man. Alright, we got them all. Did I win? That was it? Oh shit, I didn't even have to take out his main body. Nice. Cool. I like that. I like that. Thought maybe he was gonna go, like, get downed after I knocked him, and then I'd have to, like, finish him off. But no, that was it. Alright, fair enough. And for that, we get the Gale Shoes. Which, is that a... Is that a thing? Yes. Ooh, we can dash if you hold down B. Also allows party to ascend certain steep slopes. Well, I would be surprised if we're not gonna have to use that here. Also, yay! Barrett says victory. Yay. Thank you for the seven bits, Terra. Um, I guess I don't need to heal. Also, yo, Sword Sage. What's up, man? Wait, did I keep those on? I did. Oh, you have to hold it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm going too fast. All right. Got it. Wait, 
That makes me think, though. Wasn't there, on the very first floor, at the at the end of the room, there was a slope, but I thought maybe it was going to get, like, lowered down. Maybe not. Hold up. Now I got nothing but questions. And I need some answers. Shit. Get inside, quickly. We're all going to die. <laughs> I forgot that was outside. Alright, hold up. I need to know. Pretty sure it was just straight back here. Whoa! Those were some big boy enemies. Yup! I made it, guys. Oh, God. Alright, oh. Are these all just fake? They can't all be fake. There's gotta be something up here worth my while. Don't play with my soul right now. There's just the one. The one item. But we need a different party member to get it. Boy, you're in. Give it to me. <laughs> ah, the warrior seal number three. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh. She does not have any accessories on. What does the warrior seal do again? Oh man. Um. Oh, that's the skill experience game. You know what? Let's put it on her. Screw it. Why not? We're using it right now. Why not? Uh, let's also put... Yeah, I'll put the heavy thing on. We got heavy quite a few times in this dungeon so far. I completely forgot I didn't equip her accessories. I don't know what the hell I'm thinking. What are you thinking, bra? Ow. Bitch ass. Okay, I'm stuck here. Come on now. Let me out. Let me out of here. What are all these enemies that drop down? I'm out of here, dude. I'm not fucking with them. I'm out of here. <sighs> anyway. Let's get back to the motherfucking thing. Please don't lightning me. Alright. Back in. We go, go, go. Please don't. Don't shock me, no. Since when am I thinking? I mean... I think a lot, Martin. I do. Probably too much. Usually I overthink things, if anything. But anyway, I get where you're coming from, to be fair. Time for Sonic Unleashed? Is that... Are you just saying that because I can run real fast? Gotta go fast? Gotta go fast? Salset in Panacea. Oh. 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 Somebody following us? Oh, he not done. Oh, he not done. Oh, you thought he would done? He not done. Okay. Does that mean we'll see him later, or what? I don't know. As long as I can't get shocked while I'm outside the tower, I'll be happy. Anyway, let's go. Oh, I see. Hello. We're making a mini game sort of out of it. Okay. This looks fun. Just gotta go fast, y'all. Uh. Oh, 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 come on. Get the hell out of my way, you piece of shit. See ya. You'll never take me alive, guy. Alright, cool. Kaiser Pot. Ooh, a Kaiser Pot. That's probably better than the other ones we've been picking up. I don't remember seeing that at a shop yet. <clears throat> anyway, now... Okay, now we gotta fight one of these guys. Did we fight one of these guys earlier? I don't remember these guys. I saw them pop down on that first floor, but I don't remember seeing them before that. Huh. Either way, whatever. Not too shabby. Not when you got a little girl with a big old mace to knock them down. Purple stones... Bum 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 doo doo. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes and here it goes and here it goes again. Wow 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 wow. Can I run up that slope? 
if I have the speed. Are you a bad enough dude with enough speed to make this? You are. Oh, you certainly are. That section reminded you of Sonic Unleashed? Oh, okay, I see Sword Sage. So today I was like. I was looking at some old stuff today on eBay, and I was like. I was trying to think of like. What kind of other, like, PS2 era type stuff that I haven't played that's, like, licensed type stuff even? Like, stuff that I would would have been interested in if I was a kid in that time, you know? And I was like, what if I, like, because stuff I was interested in, like, when I was a kid was, like, Ninja Turtles, right? I'm like, what if I looked into, like, the Ninja Turtles game from, like, the PS2 era? And I was like, I wonder if that'd be a, an interesting, like, set of games to go through. Whether they're good or bad. Just try them out, check them out. I mean, I'm sure they're all pretty straightforward, beat em up style games for the most part. It'd just be interesting to see where Turtles kind of evolved into since I was a kid, you know? Because I still have a couple Turtles ga old Turtles games that I did play as a kid. We still gotta do. Like TMNT on NES, I still want to do that game. Like the first one, not the second and third one. I've already done those. Um, but this, but the second, the first one for sure. I would love to go back and do that and hopefully be able to beat it. It's not an easy game by any stretch of the imagination, but I'd love to. It's one of my bucket list NES games for sure. Probably my top bucket list NES game is TMNT on NES. But anyway, the point of this conversation that I brought up, this topic, is that would anybody be interested in me just like playing some Turtles games, even if they're from, like, the era of Turtles that you didn't grow up with. Or maybe some of you are young enough to have grown up with these era, era of Turtles, like, you know, the early 2000s era of them, or even, like, the newer era of them. I don't know. I mean, besides that, there's always... I still have to go back and play some more of the, the shitty 3D Sonic games, like Sonic Unleashed, which is why I got even thought of this topic right now. Because I, I, I still need to go back and buy a handful of those games as well. So I want to go through one of the worst underwater levels? What, the, the TMNT water level? I, 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 oh shit, ooh, I didn't mean to do that, that was an accident. Oh, oh, maybe I did mean to do that, or maybe not. I didn't know there was a thing down here, okay. That's interesting, news to me. Also, I'm about to die, holy fuck. You need to be more careful, y'all. Uh, be careful. I'm gonna go ahead and heal a little bit. Uh-huh. But anyway, that, that, that underwater level in the original TMNT catches some unnecessary flack. Now, I'm not saying the level's great, but I don't think it's as hard as people... Like, it's pretty difficult, but with a little bit of practice, that level isn't that. Granted, I say this, I'll probably struggle at it when I play it again. That's been a while. But, I'm... I, I, from what I remember even like I remember hating it when I was a kid at first but then once I got the hang of it it wasn't that bad it was just a little nerve-wracking because you weren't you just had to be really careful you know I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there and get that treasure was I supposed to land up there because I don't think I was anywhere near landing up there oh well well I didn't even know I could fall down so I discovered something at least Ascend. All I know is when I fell, I fell behind that platform. So maybe I'm supposed to get and fall from another spot over here. here goes. This treasure chest took me forever to find for the all treasure chest achievement. So it took you forever to find it, or it took you forever to get it? Because... Oh, you can fall. You have to run quickly. Oh, do you have to fall here? No, that's still behind it. Okay, so you have to fall in the middle area. Got it. I'm just going to go. We'll redo that. We'll do it one more time. Is it just because you didn't know it was there, Sword Sage? But anyway, I don't know. Back to the P. I'm just saying I don't know about the PS2 topic thing. I 
I think I might actually partake in a few TMNT games just to see, like from that PS2 GameCube era. Anyway, I think I got a fall right here. Nailed it. Life Elixir? Eh, that's a pretty good healing item, I'm pretty sure, so I'm not complaining. In fact, wait, is that the item that, like, revives you automatically when you die? Life Elixir? No, what? Oh, that is not what I thought it was. Oh my god. A maximum increase of 100 HP, or not, yeah, basically, like, wow, that's actually really sweet. Um, eight all, duh. Why would I use it on anyone else? You didn't fall down there until the end game? Sword stage? You just never found it? Okay. So, I see Terra's asking me what games am I going to play tomorrow, because tomorrow we're doing Finish It Friday. Um, probably going to stick to some SNES games tomorrow. That's what I'm leaning toward. I think we're just going to play nothing but the SNES games that I have, like, that I want to go back and try to beat. So I think that's what we're going to go for tomorrow. I haven't really decided which one I'm going to start with, nor which ones I will do for sure. But I think that's at least the library games I'm going to choose from. So, yeah. If SNES is your cup of tea and any of the ones I've done already that you want to see me try to beat are there. Come back tomorrow. We'll do it. That's what we're doing. Anyway, just waiting around so I can get some heals because it took a lot of damage there. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Heal it up faster, and thank you. Okay, let's equip, uh, oops, sorry. Get those sh Sonic shoes back on. And let's get back up to where I accidentally fell. I can't believe I accidentally discovered that treasure. That's a pretty neat treasure to find, too. I'm actually really glad I fell down there and fi figured that out now. I got a new skill. Oh, did I? Oh, all right, I'll check that out in a second. Oh, for Kalilica? Actually, I knew I did. I, I actually just forgot that I did. You're right. I would have remembered when I checked the menu. But we could do that real quick. I was confused for a second because you said Familia. I'm like, Familia? I think you mean Kalilica. Uh, yeah. Gigant Hammer. That sounds pretty fun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's a pretty good that's a pretty good move. Slam she puts the hammer down on a bitch. That's pretty good. Hammer down! Put it down on him. That's what I thought, bitch. Alright. And away we go. Oh, I should say. An up. Up and away we go. Oh, a couple more gargs. Gargle meshes. Please don't slam, slam, slam jam on me. Man, we were juggling the fuck out of that motherfucker. For real. For real. Take him down at the kneecaps. Got him. Sweep the leg. Bitch. Speaking of my outdated sweep the leg joke, who wants to see me play Karate Kid on NES? <laughs> That's actually another one of those old NES games I was thinking about buying just because it's, you know, well known, even if it's not very good. One of the old AVGN original episodes, you know? Okay, I guess I gotta hit this switch over here, so. Just do it.
Oh, I see. We've unleashed Traparoma, but we've also unleashed the treasure. So a treasure we shall go get. Yes. Now it's gonna lock behind us. Indeed. Well then, you think I'm scared of two of these guys? Eh, uh eh. -uh. Get it. Ooh, and a, and a mimic. Okay. Okay. Oh, fuck. Well, I guess this is happening. <laughs> I was trying to use Y with, with my ability, in it, and then that happened. That's what happens when you do it too many times accidentally, and you kind of spam it a little bit. Whoopsies. Oh, well. I mean, last boss fight, I didn't even need it, so it's okay. A Prism Mace plus six. Okay. Okay. Let's check it out. It's definitely better. Well, wait. It's only better because it has... What's better about it? It just has a little bit of critical... It just has extra stats on it. Nothing too crazy. Alright, well... There's the... Oh, wait. How do I get out of here? Oh, there's a button. Durr. Um. Durr. Okay. Swingy mace ball things are gone. That's always nice. Gargamel bo Gargoyle boy came back. Also, somebody... Oh, my. It's getting out of hand. 35 kill streaks shouldn't be a thing. 35 kill streaks are a thing. You play Call of Duty? Also, thank you for 35 motherfucking months. In a row, no less. Dragon. You crazy mofo. Endless support since the beginning. Highly appreciated as usual. Almost three years, man. So close. And that'll basically mark the three years of being an affiliate once we get there, too. Which is even just as crazy to think. Stop killing me! Stop killing me! A-holes. Here it goes. That's funny, your sub, your resub, basically killed my stream on, on my end where I can't even see it. Like, right at, right when you resubbed, it killed my stream. <sighs> gotta love it, 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 do 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 I could have started even earlier had I not wanted to eat beforehand, but I ate beforehand, so I'm good now. I was eating while I was watching your stream earlier. That's why I was even in your stream. Okay, so... I'm glad I didn't sit there and heal, because I just got to that point where I got a free heal, or a full heal, a quicker heal. I'm guessing we're at the top now. That says top. Well, get ready for a rematch with that mechanical thing, or maybe El Deal will show up. Nah, he, they can't establish him as bad yet. We have to see him first. Expect him to be good before we think he's bad, right? But now we get to fight this thing for realsies. Here comes the fun. Prelamicia round two. Shook him. Shook him. Uh oh. See, smart to back up. Back up. Only because I don't know what the hell he's doing. Ow. That did a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, what else 
do I have? Just what are the random items? Temporary defense up. That might not be a horrible idea, actually. I don't want to use it on this fight, though, especially not on her. Watch out. Nice little shooky. Nice one. Oh, God. Got too close. His arms actually have their own... Their own HP bar. Well, I was wondering what the extra HP bars were for when they were there. We're pretty much wrecking his ass right now. So unless we've got like a form 2. I ain't even tripping right now, y'all. Watch out. Oh. Just in case. Let's just use one more of these. Just to be safe. Hey, Predhead, what's up, man? How you doing? There's your arm, bitch. Watch out. Try to get out of the way. He's almost dead. Finish him. Got him? Too easy? Maybe? Oh, I see. There's a round two. Wait, what the fuck now? Holy. Holy mother of God. Did you see how much damage I just took? I almost died. My goodness. Oh, this is, here comes the real boss fight, yo. Ooh, I don't think I got out of the way quite in time. So oh, it's kind of weak on the defensive front. But you got to be careful because it kicks your candy ass if you're not careful. Oh, what are you doing? I'm just going to run like a motherfucker right now. Got out of the way, barely. Alright, careful, careful. Shooky. And got him. Let's go, boys. Let's go! Now is he really dead? Hell yeah. We did it. Congratulations. Okay, now that we've done that, now what? Are we done here, mother? I would assume so. Tara says we are with the victory. Thank you for seven more bits for the win. Let's go. To the top! Time to meet Mr. L Deal, I suppose. Is he really sick? Or is he just sick of seeing humans? Oh, it's this place. The place we saw in the flashback with uh Adol. Phew, we finally made it. Sure, took us forever to get up here. <sighs> Lord L Deal Where are you? Why is this room such a mess, mess again? Sheesh. Honestly, Lisa is kind of kind enough to tidy up, but we take our eyes off of him for a few minutes, and it's back to how it was. He sure has a lot of books. So this is the room Adol was invited to. There do seem to be a whole lot of things in here that I've never seen before. So all this knowledge that Eldil intends to give to the others. Oh, so all this is the knowledge. I wonder what he planned to impart upon Adol. We can ask him if we find him. Come on, he's got to be around here somewhere, right? So you think. So you would think. His domain should have him in it, 
if he's not out and about. But maybe he's out and about. I don't know. He's certainly not in his bed. So I guess we'll just check the balcony. That's him? He here? I didn't actually expect to see him here. Lord El Dio! So he's... He is the one they call a god. I thought you might come, Kalilika. And... Uh... It's nice to see you again, douche. Indeed. It's a pleasure to see you again as well, Adol Kristen. I am truly relieved to see that you've made it back here safely. Lord El Dio, how are you feeling? Lisa told us you were at, you were unwell. I see. So that is how she explained it then. Today, at the very least, I'm feeling wunderbar. So wunderbar that I thought I would come outside for a while and enjoy the breeze. Does that mean you really were feeling sick? Do you believe Lisa to keep to be keeping secrets from you, Kalilika? I know how perceptive you can be, and how much genuine concern you hold for the well-being of those around you. Yeah, I thought she might be hiding something. Lisa's claim is roughly half true, and half understandably false. My body is different to that of yours. I don't take ill in quite the same manner as you. So, are you okay, or aren't you? The process my body is undergoing right now is more unique than mere sickness. And it is for that reason that I summoned it all here. Me? Oh. Oh. Hold out, deal? <laughs> I hadn't expected this to occur again so soon. Please, Adol, Kalilika, you must stay back. What? What? What's happening? His hair and his wings are changing color. Oh, he's going evil mode, yo. Interesting. Evil mode, El Deal. Lord El Deal. Adol, Kristen. Adol, Kristen. I thank you for sparing me the trouble of hunting you down myself. Well, I called the evil thing, but I didn't expect him to go into, like, different personality mode. <laughs> I like his hair, though. Fucking bitchin' long-ass black hair with, like, the red streaks in it. Unless that's just lighting. Either way, it looks cool. <laughs> his tone is different, as though he has become a completely different person. No. No. I will have you return what is rightfully mine. The Mask of the Sun. Give it back. The Mask? Of the Sun? You humans are unworthy to bear such a powerful artifact. Only I am suited to possess such strength. Uh, this is not good. Stop this. Mm. Gah. You you never know when to give up. And Okay, back to regular L Deal. Okay. Lord L Deal <sighs> Sorry, had to break out a quick yawn. Everything is returned to its original hue. What just happened? I don't know either, girl. It is as if there are two people, or two divinities, inhabiting the same body. That's gotta be what Lisa saw that had her so flustered. I don't blame her for wanting to keep quiet about it. Could he have always been like this? Or perhaps this affliction has only begun occurring recently? My money's on a mixture of the two. Something that hadn't happened for a long time, but just started flaring up again. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Nailed it, Durin. Something has caused him to unleash his evil side again. Something is making it stir up to the top. It's probably Adol's fault, usually. Ah, here they come. How's he doing? 
He's sleeping now. He does look a little better, but... Adolf, I think this might be too much for us to handle right now. I'm worried about Eldeo, but we need to go back to town and talk to the mayor or something. Figure out what to... He hey! What is it? I smell something strange. It's not me, I swear! No, I smell it too. It seems to be riding on the wind from quite a distance away. Quite a distance, as in... Highland. Uh-oh. Highland's on fire? Is it burning? Is that smoke? Oh, no. No way. That's cannon fire. Oh, shit. Can't wait. Who the fuck would be bombing on this place? What? Huh. What does cannon mean? Wait, are you talking about the weapons used by your military? Who could bring something like that all the way here? No, it couldn't be. Grandfather, Lisa. Uh-oh. Adol. Kalilika and I reactivated the elevator to the bottom floor while you were looking after Eid Eldil. We can use that to get out of here right now. Come on. Let's hurry to Highland. Right. Here we go. Lord Eldil, we'll be back with Lisa soon. If she's alive. Okay. I guess we elevate down. See ya. Oh, I see. Now this one goes all the way to the first floor. That makes sense. The guitar is so fucking good. This is so much more convenient than those damn stairs. Wish we could have used this on the way up, too. Wonder what made it stop working. I still have no idea. Can't imagine Lord Eldeal would shut it off himself. Karna, can you sense it, too? Yeah, we're not alone in here. Uh-oh. Oh, don't say that. We really don't have the time to be hanging around here anymore. I dislike leaving under the circumstances, but I agree. We must hurry back to Highland. Why does my main character look like a doll allegory? Are you talking about the girl I'm controlling? Because she's not the main character. She's just the one that's leading the group at the moment. The main character is this guy. You know, the silent protag is this guy. Oh, Shiza. Okay, I'm not dealing with that right now. What's his name? I just said Adol. Do, do. Oh. I'm, I feel dumb for not paying attention to what you said. I thought you were actually talking about the girl, and I wasn't even paying attention. <sighs> I hate myself, and I hate you right now, Allegory. Thank you. <laughs> <sighs> oh boy. Anyway. Back to town, where it is surely burning down right now, right? Or being attacked at the very least. Let's go save everybody. From whatever's happening. <laughs> Thank you for the thousand bits to make up for your amazingly terrible pun that actually got me. Anyway, this place is under attack. That's not good. This is awful. Kalilika. Fortunately, it appears none of the residences were harmed. Every blast looks to have been directed at the roads. So they were just warning shots? Come on, Adolf. Let's get to Kalilika's house. Be careful, though. The attackers might still be around. Hmm. Who could it be? Somebody who's about to get fudged up. That's all I got to say. A bunch of soul... Ooh. 
Oh no, they're guys that are being controlled by the masks. Masks? No. Are these the same... Oh, sorry. Are these the same masked invaders as the one you spoke of, Karna? I don't know. The masks look different, but... Pretty sure that's Roman army regalia they're wearing. So that really was Roman cannon fire, then? But why? Why are you doing this? Oh, this, so basically it is the same masked people. But they're controlling the Romans now. No response here either, just like in Komodo. This isn't looking good. Alright, well... Oh my god. I got fucking owned on that first swing. I'm being very... Uh... Not... Good with my dodging. I'm just... I'm just flailing away like a madman. We're getting close. We're getting close. One guy left. Everybody went up a level. Nice work. Nice work. Well done. Before I move on... Okay, as I was gonna say, maybe I'll stand and heal, but maybe we'll get healed. Also, X Gamer, what's up, man? How you doing? Ugh. Their strength, the reaction speeds, it's exactly the same as in Komodo. It's like they aren't even human. If they are soldiers from your Roman army, then that would imply that they are well-trained even without the power of the masks. I am uncertain how long we can stand our ground against a foe this powerful. Uh-oh. Four more of them? I believe we may be out of options. Stand down! Oh? No way. This guy is in charge of this shit? Isn't that... You met in Kaznan, you bitch. Yeah. He said his name's Gruda, and he's in charge of the Roman army. <laughs> Adol Kristen. <laughs> Fancy meeting you here. Allow me to extend my deepest gratitude for guiding us to Highland. Uh, what do you, uh, why'd you do this? I am, after all, under no obligation to discuss my actions with you. You mobilize quickly, considering we only just got here recently ourselves. I take it that you are well informed. Are you after Lord Eldeel's tower? Ah. <laughs> the knowledge of the sanctuary is great indeed, but represents only the tiniest footnote in our grand scheme. Our true objective lies even deeper in the forest. Deeper? No, you can't mean... Behold, the ancient tower falls silent. The rains which have fallen for hundreds of years cease, till at, cease at last. And night gives way to dawn. What? The sky, it... Hey, it's clearing up. That's actually a good thing, right? I mean, to travel around it is. No way. No, no. You, what did you do to Lord Eldeel's tower? <laughs> Can't you just tell by looking? We disabled it, of course. Oh, God. <laughs> it's these two guys. Ha <laughs> ha. No more pesky barrier. No more annoying thunderstorms. Full access to all. Now and forever more. There they are. Those two bitches. You! What are you doing here? You both have done excellent work. Vami, your experiments with the mask have proven most enlightening. And Gadis, your investigation of the primeval lands has yielded invaluable data. It's an honor to be of your service. Ha! <laughs> About time I got some recognition. I have confirmed that the object we seek is not here. As such, please commence preparations for the next phase of the plan immediately. Gotcha. What should we do with the girl? Leave her be for now. She may yet prove useful. I see. Understood. Wait! Experiments! So that means the masks here are... Oh. I'm sorry, little girl. I'm afraid I haven't the time to be playing with you right now. Take care of them. Oh, boy. <laughs> really now? 
What do you think you're doing there? Wait! Get out of the way! You're too late. You should just give up now and save yourself a lot of effort. Dear sister. I was going to say he has orange hair. Is it who I think it is? No, it can't be. Well then. Rem knows. Oh, what are you? <laughs> it's lovely to see you again, Adol. Uh, what are you doing here? Do I really need to spell it out for you? I have my duties now as Commander Remnos of the Mass Division, and to my superior, Lord Gruden. What are you saying? Oh, I get it. You're still under that woman's control, aren't you? Nope. I'm afraid not. It is true that Bami had placed me under her power back in Komodo, but now I've chosen to become a member of the Mass Division by my own free will. What? What? Did you come all this way looking for me? To rescue me from myself, perhaps? If so, I suggest you go. You just go back home. Now. Maybe Adol can talk some sense into you. I heard the truth about you, Remnos, from father and that woman alike. They told me that you're actually really strong, but hid it from me because you were afraid I'd be hurt. Because that's the kind of thoughtful, selfless person you are. <laughs> the truth. There seems to be a great misunderstanding here. I just didn't care about hunting or fighting enough to give it my all. Nothing more. No. This force holds a secret beyond imagination. A secret I want to know. I want to know what happened here in ancient times. Lord Gruda modeled these after the Mask of the Sun that appears in ancient legends, you know. What Bami was doing in Komodo was testing out some of the prototypes. But my lord's true objective here is much greater and more noble than you could possibly imagine. I must see it fulfilled and bear witness to the results of his glorious vision. It's a much more worthwhile pursuit than wasting my life away in a backwoods village like Komodo. Okay, I think I understand. But that's all the more reason I'm going to have to drag you back home kicking and screaming, bitch! What? I don't want to believe it, but maybe you are telling the truth. Maybe life in Komodo has been unfulfilling for you. It sucks. But I can't sit by and watch you hurt people like this. And I can't bear to see you rely on some mask to get your way. When the younger brother starts walking a dangerous path like this, it's his older sister's job to put him right again. So like it or not, you're coming home with me, Remnos! Oh dear. This conversation isn't going anywhere. I'm surprised you can be so confident in the face of such overwhelming power. This is where we part ways. Keep them occupied while I take my leave. Oh boy. He's gonna run away to fight four more of these motherfuckers. Maybe? Or maybe not? Oh, okay. Yeah, they should be heading your way now. Is Durin the one who led them here on purpose? I can't help but wonder if Durin's in on this, man. Like, who else would have been on, in on this if he so, if like if they were so far ahead of me, you know? Like, they basically used us as the excuse to, like, we led them here. Is that because of Durin? Who else in my party would have helped them? Like, Durin's the only one. Just pass that on. What? I know, I know. You don't have to keep telling me. Yeah, yeah, all right then. Good luck. Or am I supposed to spec Durin now, but it's not actually him? I don't know. <sighs> Looks like I can't delay this any longer. What are you delaying, Durin? What are you up to, buddy? Guess we'll never know. The residents are still in a state of confusion. Considering this town has known nothing but peace for hundreds of years, it is hardly surprising. Far too much has happened in short and too short a space of time. We need to consider what to do next, Adol. The, Rom the Romans sure didn't hang around long. I think they really are heading further into the forest. What do you think Groot is searching for? Mask of the Sun, dog. I agree. That does seem the most likely possibility. 
Yeah, when El Deal started changing, he was demanding that Adol give it back to him. Do you remember the piece of paper that we found in your grave, Adol? It said, receive the mask from. Correct. Before losing his memories, Adol must have received the Mask of the Sun from El Deal. Then, when El Deal changed personalities during our conversation with him, he told Adol to return that which had been given. That is the most plausible course of events. That actually does make a lot of sense. El Deal gave him the mask that his evil side was probably trying to use. Adol was doing something until he got knocked and lost his memories. That's the part we still don't know, then. <sighs> Meanwhile, Gruta was still Gadis and Bami to study the mask of the... Uh, was using Gadis and Bami to study the mask of the sun and even make copies of it. And now they've come to the primeval lands to get the real one. Raishi. However, we still do not know exactly what the Mask of the Sun even is. Do you have any information you could share with us, Mayor? The Kingdom of Salsetta. Kingdom of Salsetta? In ancient times, a kingdom by the name existed in this region. Supposedly, Lord Aldeo assisted in its rulings many hundreds of years ago. It is said that the kingdom flourished thanks to the power granted by the Mask of the Sun. However, something happened that caused the once prosperous kingdom to be destroyed. Precious few traces remain now. And what happened? I'm afraid I cannot say. Supposedly the people of Highland are descendants of the kingdom of Salsetta. But no records exist which examine exactly how the kingdom fell. Lord Aldea has never spoken of it either. I see. It seems our best option would be to meet him again and ask him to tell us all he knows. However... We're back! Excellent timing. How did it go? Well, uh... Lord Aldeal has vanished! We searched the area all around the tower, but there was no trace of him anywhere. Ordinarily, he would only... I can't even do this old dude's voice. I keep mixing it up. Too, too many voices, man. Ordinarily, he would only leave his room to visit the town. And even that occurs with marked eyed rarity. And unfortunately, the bad news doesn't stop there. I'm afraid we can't find Lise anywhere either. Could Groot have abducted her? Lisa may seem dainty, but she's actually pretty quick-witted. I don't think she would allow herself to be captured so easily. Still, I'm worried about both her and Eldeal. We need to do something. Who is it now? We're busy, you know. Could it be Lisa? Nope. Is this the mayor's house? I am Great Commander Leo of the Roman Imperial Sunsetan Army. Damn that, Gruda. How could he leave a fine warrior like me behind? Hmm. Well, they've been treating us like we're nothing but trouble since the beginning. Aww. I wanted one of those masks too. Silence! The soldiers of the glorious Sunsetan Army have no need for such suspicious masks. Seems like the Romans are a little out of sorts right now. Has Gruta been here yet? I can't find him anywhere. Too late, bro. What? What? That fiend! Setting a cutting trap just so he could get ahead of us! Sancho, didn't he get ahead of us because the commander got a stomach ache? Yep. And it serves him right for hoarding all those mushrooms before we even left. Never mind that! We have more important issues to discuss than mushrooms! Why is he not following orders? Our orders were to claim the mayor's home and use it as a base, from which we sh would enact martial law upon the town. Those orders are void. Is she here too? Damn, everybody here. What the fuck? Governor General, what brings you to a place like this? <laughs> Men, fall in. Adol, don't just stand there. You're in the presence of the Governor General. At ease, Leo. Let go of my arm, Leo. Unbelievable. The Governor General herself coming all the way here? First and foremost, allow me to extend my most heartfelt apologies for the actions of my fellow soldiers. I realize no apology could possibly be sufficient given the circumstances, but I do beg your forgiveness nonetheless. What's going on here? I've heard rumors of you, Cassandra. 
Normally, one would not expect to find a woman of noble standing like yourself in such a place as this. You are well informed, I see. However, I have difficulty understanding your actions, but you sell our town, and then you come to apologize? You are correct that Groot is an officer sent by Rom, and part of the Roman army. However, his orders were to investigate the primeval lands and report back to us with his findings. Nothing more. His actions here were in no way sanctioned by Rom. What? A soldier not obeying orders? How disgraceful. Commander Leo, you will continue following the movements of Groot and his men, and report back to me. Pursue them as deep into the Great Forest as is necessary. Yes, ma'am. Now, Mayor Aaron, I realize this may startle the people of Highland, and for that I apologize, but I would like to station my soldiers here. What? Hmm. We cannot have the existence of Highland becoming common knowledge outside the Great Forest. As such, I would like soldiers of my army to stand guard between here and the river, to prevent any further intruders. I give you my word that they will no, they will cause no harm to the people of Highland under any circumstances. So that's your situation, is it? Hmm. Grandfather. Very well. You have my blessing in this. Do as you wish. I am grateful for your understanding. As for you, Adol Kristen, you are free to continue your journey. Uh huh. I don't recall ever canceling our, uh, your outstanding task to complete a map of the Great Forest, after all. I feel that you are a vital piece of the puzzle that is currently unfolding in this region. And with even a single piece missing, the puzzle cannot be completed. True that. So just keep on keeping on is what she said. She said go ahead and keep it on. Keep it on. So that's about the gist of it. What should we do now, Adol? Uh, chase after Gruta. Yeah, I'm worried about that mask of the sun they're looking for. It really doesn't sound like something they should have. Whatever you decide to do, I suggest that you cross the sanctuary and journey deeper into the forest. What lies beyond the sanctuary? A place called the Ashen Forest. With it in it, it's a, set a settlement where the descendants of those who crossed the distant oceans with Lord Eldil live. Eldil live. It is known as the Village of the Wise. Village of the Wise? Unlike the other people Lord Elbrook brought here, it's said they've chosen to live in isolation. No one is certain why, however. But they may know something about the Mask of the Sun, as well as Lord Eldil's changes. Sounds like it'd be worth a visit then, for sure. Uh, and uh, not to change the subject, but... Why is Kalilika standing here, all packed up and looking like she's ready to leave? What a silly question. I'm about to... I'm about Lord Eldil... I'm, I'm worried about Lord Eldil too, you know. And Lisa. Right all, I would ask that you take my Kalilika with you and on your journey. My, whatever. Whatever happens as a result of this current crisis, I feel it will be have repercussions throughout the land. And traveling will give Kalilika a good opportunity to decide what path she should walk from this time forward. Grandfather. Furthermore... If you are journeying to the Village of the Wise, it may be helpful to have someone from Highland with you. Happy to have you with us. Pleasure's all mine, Eel. The matter is settled, then. Ugh. Nice to have you with us. Yes. Thank you. Ah, yes, Adol. Please take this as well. A golden wing. Please tell me that lets me teleport anywhere in the game. For the love of God. Oh! Yes! Mmm! I don't even have to read it. That's exactly what I wanted it to be. Kick ass. Any of the monuments. That's what I, I was I was praying there was an item for that. Thank you. This should normally be given to apostles only, but I believe in the importance of your mission. It will serve you well. So we don't have to go to find the nearest monolith whenever we want to warp? That sounds incredibly useful. Thanks. Now, take care of yourselves, all of you, and best of luck. Hell yeah. Kalilika rejoined the party. I mean, she was only gone for a cutscene, so whatever. Anyway, Golden Wing allows you to go up to the monuments from the map of Celsetta. On the map, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You can now accept quests in Highland. Oh, there's quests here, too. Oh, great. Great. 
Oh, I don't need the help of Leon right now, but thank you anyways, Ashley. Four bits from Terra. 